Hello everyone. Welcome again to the iQuantile RDF 50 series. In this series, we'll be solving an exact cat level set every day till cat. If you want more DLR sets to practice, then you can join the cat preparation iQuanta group on Facebook. Apart from that, you can also post all your quants and VRC doubts on that group and you can get them solved for free. The link to join our Facebook group, it is in the description below. So you can join it now. All right, so we'll start with the set for today. The question is, a interstate taxi services company owns 30 taxis with each of them having carrying capacity of 5 people. The following table shows the fares in dollars per taxi for transportation from a central zone Z0 to various zones of various regions. So in the table we can see that we have 1, 2, 3 regions R1, R2, R3 as well as we have zones from 1, 2, 3, 4 up to Z12 and there is a central zone Z0 given to us. So the taxis that have been provided to us, they have a capacity of carrying 5 people at max. This table given to us, it is showing us the fares in dollars for one taxi if it is going from central zone Z0 to various zones in these regions. So I can say that the fare to go from Z0 to Z1 will be 72, Z0 to Z2 will be 53. Apart from that, we have some more information given to us. So following further information is known. First one is any car entering from Z0 to any region has to pay entry fees of 50, 80, 100 dollars for R1, R2, R3 respectively. So this clue means that if a car is entering from Z0 to any other region, then it has to pay a fees of 50, 80, 100 which are the entry fees for regions R1, R2, R3 respectively. Then after that second one, for a car moving from one zone to another of the same region, the total fare is equal to the absolute difference between the fares of two zones from Z0. So the entry fees that we discussed in the first point, it is paid only when a car is entering from zone Z0 to any zone in any other region. While in the second clue we have been given that if a car is moving from one zone to another of the same region, for example, if I take region R2 over here, then if a car is moving from Z5 to Z8, then the fare will be equal to the absolute difference between the fares of two zones from Z0. So what are the fares of these zones from Z0? From Z0 to Z5, the fare is 70 rupees. From Z0 to Z8, the fare is 90 rupees. So the fare from Z5 to Z8 will be absolute difference of 90 and 70 which will be 90 minus 70 which gives me 20. So I hope this point is understood. The third point is for a car moving from one zone to another of different regions. So now the car will move between two zones but those zones will be in different different regions. Then the total fare is twice the absolute difference between the fares of two zones from Z0. For example, if we are moving a car from Z5 in region 2 to Z9 in region 3. So now the zones are in different different regions. So in this case the fare to move from Z5 to Z9 it will be how much? It will be 2 times the absolute difference of the fares from Z0 to Z5 and Z0 to Z9. So Z0 to Z5 the fare is 70 rupees and Z0 to Z9 the fare is 105 rupees. So this will be the fare to move from Z5 to Z9. So I hope you have understood how to apply these clues. So now let us try to solve the first question which is which of the following could be a route for a car from Z0 to Z12 so that the total fare is $217. So we have been given four options. All the routes are from Z0 to Z12. So if we pick up the first route over here Z0 to Z7. So now we can see that the car is starting from Z0 that means we'll have to pay some entry fees if it is entering into some region. So Z0 to Z7 that means Z7 is in region 2. So what is the entry fees for region 2? It is 80 rupees. So the fare to go from Z0 to Z7 will be the entry fees of R2 which is 80 rupees plus this fare over here which is 110. So this is the fare till now. Now we have to go from Z7 to Z12. So Z7 to Z12 now. Again Z7 and Z12 are in different different regions. 
but in the very first point we were told that the entry fees will be paid only when a car is entering from zero to some region but now here the car is going from z7 to z12 directly both the zones z7 and z12 are in different different regions so we'll be applying this rule the third one the fare to go from z7 to z12 it will be two times the absolute difference of the fares to go from z0 to z7 and z0 to z12 so what is the fare to go from z0 to z7 it is 110 rupees and what is the fare to go from z0 to z12 it is 110 rupees so this is 0 0 into 2 0 so the total fare to go from z0 to z12 in this case it is 80 plus 110 plus 0 which gives me 190 we are looking for a fare which is 217 dollars so option 1 is wrong because here the fare is 190 similarly in the second option z0 to z5 z0 to z5 z5 is in region 2 it will have to pay an entry fees of 80 rupees the fare to z5 is 70 rupees then from z5 to z9 fare of z5 is 70 z9 is 105 these both are in different different regions so fare will be two times the difference of 105 and 70 so the difference of 105 and 70 is 35 so 35 into 2 again 70 so this is the fare to go from z5 to z9 now we have to go from z9 to z12 so z9 and z12 they are in same region so now the fare will be the absolute difference of this 105 and 110 not two times because these are in the same region so difference of 105 and 110 it is 5 rupees so if we add this we'll be getting 225 as the total which is not equal to 217 hence option 2 also will be wrong let's try the third option now again the car is entering from z0 to z4 z4 is in region 1 the entry fees for region 1 is 50 rupees then fare of z4 is 75 rupees then it has to go from z4 to z8 z4 and z8 are in different different regions so the fare will be the two times of absolute difference of this 90 and 75 90 and 75 have a difference of 15 2 times 15 will be 30 then z8 to z12 finally z8 and z12 again are in different different regions so the fare will be two times the difference of 110 and 90 so 2 times the difference of 110 and 90 is 20, 2 times 20 will be 40. So this gives me a total of 195. Again it is not equal to 217, this will be wrong. Let's try the fourth option now, Z0 to Z2. So Z2 is in region 1, so it will have to pay an entry fees of 50 rupees first. Fare for Z2 will be 53. Then Z2 to Z7, Z2 and Z7 are in different different regions. So the fare will be 2 times the difference of this 53 and Z7 110. So 2 times the difference of 110 53. This is the difference. At last it has to go from Z7 to Z12. So Z7 and Z12 again they are in different different regions. So fare will be 2 times the difference of 110 and this fare for 12 which is 110. So 2 times the difference of 110 and 110 gives me 0. At last if I add this I get 103 plus 2 times 57 which gives me 114 which gives me a total of 217 dollars. So option 4 will be the correct answer to this question. So I hope you have properly understood how to find out the fare when we are going from one region to another one zone to another. Now let us try to solve the next question. Now the second question is if entry fees for a zone is 30% less for a car that doesn't enter directly from Z0. So now there is some entry fees for the cars that are not entering directly from Z0 but it is 30% less irrespective of which region it starts from and the entry fees collected by the movement of the taxis at the entry point of R2 on a particular day was $1680. So the total money that was collected on the entry point of R2 it was $1680 which of the following is definitely false. So the options that we have are first one is 10 cars came from R1, 10 came from R3 and 7 from Z0. So basically we have to check if the total amount from these cars 10 from R1, 10 from R3, 7 from Z0 is equal to 1680 or not. Second one is there was no car from Z0 that day. Third one is the total number of cars that entered R2 that day can't be greater than 4. Fourth one is the number of cars that came from Z0 was not more than 21. So basically all the cars have to reach R2 finally. 
so let us check the first option we know that 10 cars came from r1 according to the first option now while considering the fare we have we don't have to consider the region because it is written over here irrespective of which region so all the 10 cars they'll be paying the entry fees for r2 which is 80 rupees now these cars they didn't start from z0 so that means their entry fees it would be 30 percent less 30 percent less means we'll multiply it by 0 0.7 then 10 came from r3 so we'll add 10 into from r3 we do not have to consider the region they are coming ultimately into r2 so all will be paying an entry fees of 80 rupees and since they are not coming from z0 that means they'll also be paying 70 percent of the entry fee so we'll multiply it by 0 0.7 at last 7 came from z0 so 7 into they are coming from z0 entering into r2 so that means all will be paying an entry fees of 80 rupees so what is the total here 10 into 18 to 0 0.7 it is 560 10 into 18 to 0 0.7 this is also equal to 560 plus 18 into 7 is also equal to 560 which gives me a total of 1680 so the first option is correct if these many cars come a total of 1680 dollars will be collected then the second option says that there was no car from z0 that day so that means if we can make up a fare of total 1680 at the entry gate of r2 without including any car from z0 that day then this option will be correct so when can this happen you can make any case out of it let me say that i am making 30 cars enter from any particular region to this region r2 so we don't have to take care of the region so 30 cars are entering so all will be paying an entry fees of 80 rupees and since these 30 are not coming from Z0, so that means all will be paying 70% of the entry fee. So let me multiply it by 0 0.7. If I calculate the total fare, it will also be equal to 1680. So even without a single car from Z0 that day, we can have a total amount of 1680. So this also can be true. Let us try the third one. The third one says that the total number of cars that entered R2 that day can't be greater than 24. So if we simply look at the first option, we saw that the total number of cars that was entering, it was 10 plus 10 plus 7, which was 27. So yes, even with more than 24 cars, we can have a sum of $1680. So that means this option is wrong. Because it clearly says that the number of cars that entered R2 that day cannot be greater than 24, which is totally false. We can have more than 24 cars that day. Fourth option is the number of cars that came from Z0 was not more than 21. Let us check this out. Now we have to talk about cars coming from Z0. So the fare of every car that was coming from Z0, it will have to pay an entry fees of 80 rupees to get into region R2. So 1680 upon 80, we get 21. So yes, if we want to have more cars from Z0, that means we should have an amount greater than 1680 over here, which is not possible. So option. 3 is incorrect over here it is definitely false let's try the third question now the third question is the taxi services bought some smaller cars taxis that could contain only three people each and the total fare that means fare plus entry fees for these cars is 35 percent lesser than the existing cars if nine people have to go to z8 then which is the most economically feasible option to travel from z0 to z8 so we have four options over here let's try to find out the fare for two big taxis two big taxis they have to go to z8 and every car has to pay fare plus the entry fees so z8 is an r2 it, it has an entry fees of 80 rupees so two big taxis they'll be paying an entry fees of 80 rupees as well as the fare which is 90 rupees so the total fare for these two big taxis to go to z8 it will be 340 rupees let's try to calculate for the second option one big taxi that means one taxi will pay the entry fees 80 rupees plus 90 rupees the fare plus two small taxis for them the fare plus entry fees is 35 percent lesser than the existing cars so we'll multiply the whole entry fees plus fare by 0 0.65 because we have to make it 35 percent lesser so entry fees plus fare is 80 plus 90 and it should be 35 percent lesser so multiplied by 0 0.65 so this gives a total fare of 391 which is the highest till now 
so we will remove this because we have 340 lesser than that then the third option three small taxis so three small taxis total fare will be 80 plus 90 we will multiply it by 0 0.65 because it has to be 35 percent lesser so this gives a total fare of 331.5 which is the least till now so we will remove 340 now fourth option is more than one of the above which is incorrect so third option three small taxis they will have this will be the most economically feasible option to travel from Z0 to Z8. Let's go to the last question now. The last question is which of the following cannot be the total charges for a car starting from Z3 and going directly to one of the zones in R2. So if it is starting from Z3 it won't be paying the entry fees. Now Z3 to one of the zones in R2. So from Z3 it can go to Z5 or Z6 or Z7 or Z8 since these z3 and all these regions 5 6 7 8 they are in different different regions so what will be the fare it will be two times the absolute difference between the fares from z0 so z3 and z5 it will be 52 70 absolute difference between 52 and 70 it is 18 rupees so 2 into 18 gives me a fare of 36 z3 and z6 again these are in different regions fare will be two times the difference of z3 and z6 z3 is 52 z6 is 101 point five. So the difference between 52 and 100, 1.5, it is 49.5, which gives me 99. Then Z3 and Z7, again in different region, two times Z3, Z7, difference between 110 and 52, it is 58. It gives me a total of $116. Then Z3 and Z8, Z3 is 52, Z8 is 90. The difference is 38, so two times 38, which means $76. So charges can be 36, 99, 76 and 116 as well. So which fare is impossible? This $106, this is impossible. Fourth will be the correct option. So that's it with the set. The whole game was about understanding these two clues. So I hope the explanation to every question was clear. If there's a doubt, please ask in the comments. Please hit like after you finish watching the video. And if you want regular notifications regarding LRDI sets, then you can subscribe the channel. Thank you for listening.